north of the Silverado fire, where you are, is the Blue Ridge fire. And NBC4 photojournalist Alex Vasquez was there as crews were setting some backfires in the area. And Alex, this looks like a very dangerous scene right now. It is, Carolyn. So the fire department just pulled out of this spot here. They moved their trucks down the road. We moved our van down the road as well. Both sides of the freeway are shut down. The winds have definitely shifted. The fire is now working its way to the other side of the 71. Firefighters have actually started taking a defensive position here. As you can see, the firefighters are checking the other side of the road here to make sure no spot fires are starting along the highway. But what firefighters were concerned about was that the wind would shift. This was a controlled burn. This started out as something they were trying to burn off some of this fuel, but erratic winds caused the uh, fire to jump over. You can see they brought in a lot of helicopters. It is extremely smoky here and it's very hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and just show you a little bit more before I'm going to pull out of here. But this fire right now is racing up and over the, uh, the freeway, the 71 here. And firefighters are ready and they're waiting on this side here in case it really starts to take off on the uh, opposite side of the 71. Alec, you stay safe, but is there a chance it could jump the freeway again? Well, I'm not sure. I'm having a hard time hearing you, Chuck, just because of the helicopter. I'm just wondering, is there a chance it could jump the freeway again? Well, there definitely is, Chuck. See, as you can see here, these are little canyons. And so the winds really swirl around in here. I think David was talking about it just a short time ago, mm -hmm. that the winds shift around in these canyons, and they will uh, start to turn the opposite direction that they thought. So as you can see here, the fire and the wind and everything is blowing to the opposite side of the freeway. So right now, it's making it very difficult for the uh, helicopters to get in here and drop water just because the visibility is so poor. CHP once again shut down both sides of the 71 now. And let me just start to back up a little bit here just because this fire is really hot. Um, but you can see or you can hear the helicopters trying to get in here and make a drop. But I heard several of the battalion chiefs. And here you go. There you see in the flames actually right now oh. jumping the highway. Wow. wow. That's an incredible and shot there, there. There is the helicopter right there. He's coming in right here. Give me this water drop. Well, we're going to get out of the way here. Whoa. 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 I'm going to have to explain that one to my boss. But as you can see, the firefighters definitely were able to get in here and make a precise drop. And as you can see, they knocked down those flames. Yeah, indeed they did. Alex, glad to know you're safe as well. A precision drop there and very low visibility. Incredible live remote there. Thank you, Alex Vasquez. The Blue Ridge Fire is also causing evacuations in the